Ah, oh, come on. Doesn't this look incredibly cheesy? But when you take this, check it out from the side. And, so. and you position the eyes right, and you throw the mask over top. Looks a lot more scary. Pretty cool? Mm-hmm. Looks really good. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Haunt Ventures with Melissa and Jason. So we made the mask and we're not going to use it for a half mask. We're actually going to use it for static prop. So it's going to go on top of this mannequin here, right on the face. And we're going to make about 10 of these and they're going to go in a hallway. So what I did here, if you take a look at the mannequin, you can see I've hollowed out this foam head mouth right here and I've hollowed out the eyes. So what that does is when you put it on, it kind of adds depth inside. So I'll probably add a tongue inside there. I mean, it's subtle detail, but when people are looking at this stuff as they're walking down the hallway, trying to figure out what's real and what's not real, this is the kind of stuff that stands out, the detail, to help add more realism to the, to the prop. So what I'm gonna do, if you can take a look at this, so if you look at our eyeball video that we made of how to make these eyeballs, that kind of give them that rage look, we made those, and here's a link to our eyeball video, so you can check that out. But you pop those in, put the mask on, and you've got the eyes in there, right? So kind of sink them into the socket, that's what we're going to be doing here. That's why uh, I hollowed it out. So when you're talking to someone, your eyes are sort of in the center. But when you're mad at somebody, your eyes sort of go up on top of your head. So you want to do the same thing with your mannequin. So you want to try to position your eyes, sort of tilt them up a, sli a slight bit, and make sure that they're up in the socket, looking up so you can see that, you know, the portion of the top of the eye is up in the head. So it makes it look like this character's angry. He's pissed he's off. He's pissed off and he's ready to kill you in the haunted house. That's right, so um, just a tip for when you're setting eyes in your prop, um, try to make them look mean, if that's what you're going for. He so, looks really shocked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, your eye placement is really important. If I have one eye facing this way and one eye facing this way, like that's not a natural thing, right? So you really have to play around with your eyes when you're, when you, when you're setting them in to make sure that they are uh, perfectly in place the way you want them. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to take this, uh, this sculpting clay. If you guys haven't seen this yet, here's the link to the sculpting clay video. Check that out after the video. It's a um, really simple clay material. It's made with toilet paper, drywall, flour, or drywall mix, flour, and uh, glue. But it's really cool, and it really bonds to everything, and it hardens. Hey Melissa, show them that one over there. Show them the mannequin. That's like the, that's the first mannequin we've ever made. And we made that entirely out of this clay. We probably made that, what, two, two years ago or more? You're in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take these eyeballs and I'm gonna just kinda sink them into this. So that's how I'm going to hold the eyes in. And this thing will make sure they never come out. You know, we've bought in props like this for like, that are $800 props at the conventions for about 400 bucks. And they're pretty good. Like they're really realistic, really happy with them. They're all made out of foam. But you know what, this year, um, we put it inside the haunted house and you could, basically just kiss 400 bucks but goodbye because it was trashed the, the, I don't know what happened to it really but it, it's destroyed so that's why you know we just can't spend four hundred dollars on on a single static prop it's just it's too much money for it just to break in one day so what we're basically doing is we're creating these very inexpensively and you can do the same so if you look at what's involved 
all you basically have is your your mannequin, right? Which these mannequins, I mean, they are expensive, but you can find them for about a hundred bucks at a store if you find a mannequin store. Often stores that rent them to movies sell them for about a hundred bucks. But if you search for them at yard sales or on your Kijiji or any of those local sites that people sell used stuff, you're really gonna get a good deal. Like I'm talking like 15 bucks for a mannequin. And then these foam heads are really good. You can find them at uh, usually if you have a value village in your area, they sell them for. $2.99. We actually just got 10 of them for I think like 85 cents they were on sale. So look for your sale days and also look for them at yard sales or auctions or any type of like used sale you go to. And you can do this whole this whole thing for you know probably under a hundred bucks entirely. And it doesn't really take you that much time, especially if you're making you know, like if you're making 10 like us, we'll be able to pop these off like an assembly line. So you're looking at 10. Sale price at a convention is like four thousand dollars. We're gonna make them for, for like hopefully, under a thousand bucks, right? So it'd be cool. Thanks for watching this episode of Haunt Ventures, guys. We really appreciate the views, and make sure you subscribe.